Welcome back to Good Things Utah on a Thursday. If you are in need of stocking stuffer, I get stuffer ideas for the kids, we've got you covered. Yes, we do. Mandy, co-founder of the Toy Testing Sisters, here to help us out. And I love this idea, focusing on the stockings. Yes, and let's just keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Let's pick one or two really quality items and don't don't run to the dollar store. <laughs> Last Guilty. minute, grabbing all the things and Guilty. thinking, I just got to put this stuff in there because your kids just need a few good things and then fill it with their favorite treats and drinks. Can we and start they, over here? They will be so excited. I love your method. It is pick one or two quality items, maybe a treat or mm -hmm. a drink, mm -hmm. and you're set. Exactly. And then you know the stuff isn't going to end up in the garbage when you start organizing in January. I love that you have us thinking about this now because I don't know if you guys can relate, but this tends to be something last the last, last, yes. and I don't want it to be that way. No, it can be fun, and you can start now. I'm gonna go through some of our favorite items, and most of these can actually be purchased at Teton Toys, which okay. is a local toy store. And it's fun, like, take your kids, let them go around the store, see what they gravitate Ooh. towards, make it a fun experience, because most of our shopping's done online. Yes. So it's fun to get into the store. They're great toy experts, and they can help you pick everything, and mom hack, they wrap everything for free. Mm. That's huge. So that is huge. Okay. Let's go th through I some of these. I think your cute daughter that's here today loves these. Yes. Right? Okay, you gotta touch these. These are Neatos. Neatos, okay. Probably my favorite, uh -huh. like, sensory fidget toy. Oh, that's okay. a little too much fun. They come in a lot of different, sh like, colors, shape, sizes, but this is perfect for, like, a stocking. And, like, little kids, like, you could give this to a three, four year old and then teenagers. And I promise you, get yourself one, keep it in your car. I was gonna say the car so, came yes, to mind. Yes. Oh, all ages, this is yes. great. You can't go wrong with this type of toy. Okay. Like one of my favorites. So right, I have felt a lot of these. This one for some reason is really <laughs> super, yummy. Super soothing. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep playing with this yes, throughout the yes. segment. Is that oh, okay? and these are like five dollars. Oh, I love that. that. Such a win here. Calico critters. Calico critters. Okay. Love calico critters. My daughter's five plays with them all of the time. Great little size. They come like with different animal types too. So you can have bunnies or like raccoons or pandas. Great, great for imaginative play. They love to set up their scenes. Cause they have the houses and all these yes. cute things. This is my Izzy's four year old, this is her dream. She just wants to play, set it up. But not all kids want to do Barbies or this type of play. So it might not be for everyone, but you know if your child loves this, yes. this mm -hmm. is the go-to. And you can, you can use almost any size dollhouse. Yes, so just I use what you that. have, and it's it's perfect for Does a stocking. Does this box come with three, or is this so one? So this this is this is oh, a diff, this is a different set. This is two, but they have so many options. You can open them up, throw really them in the stocking, cute. or this is really small too. Okay, what about these? Okay, this is fun. These are called the tubes, and they're from Safari. So if you've got kids that like different types of things, yeah. these are fun because, for example, my daughter loves mermaids. So these are great for small world play. Bathtub? Yeah. Amazing. Sensory table. My son is really into the United States. And so for him, this is fun because it has all of these different landmarks. But just find your kids' interest if they're into mermaids or unicorns or cars. Safari, safari animals. Everything. It's, it's a great themed type of play. Yeah, and if you've mm -hmm. got a couple kids, you just pick one theme that works well and what your kid is into. What's this guy? Okay, Tangles. Do you guys remember these? No. It's kind of like they've been updated here. Another fidget Another toy. fun fidget. They come in different colors. Colors. They have Wait, is it fussy? Yes, yeah, so it's great <gasps> oh, for sensory. Okay. But this is another fun one. You can give it to littles all the mm -hmm. way up to teens. And, and you it's... can twist it, turn it, make it into different yeah. shapes. It's fun. And I like the felt. I haven't even seen one of these. And I mean, you can take this anywhere. This mm -hmm. is great for travel. I'm just yeah. now realizing how much I need yes. sensory toys in my own life. This is yes. so fun. I'm I looking know. at you like, okay, yes. you want so it? Get one for the kids, <laughs> grab one for you too. <laughs> okay, what okay. about these right okay, here? Okay, so games. Grandpa Bex makes this game, it's called The Bears and the Bees, and this is what I love about it. My four-year-old can play. Oh, really? And so you could get this for like a four-year-old all the way up to a teen. It's a great family game, and that's what, it's nice because it, it engages everybody, but you're not dealing with a million pieces and parts. And so it's what's a the great object size. of the game? So the goal of the game here is to, it's to get as many matches as you can, but you're building out like a massive honeycomb. Oh, cute. Okay. And so it's, it's a great, it's a fun little strategy game and they're able to move the pieces around. Love Grandpa Bex games. Really I cute. like all of these ideas Me so too. far. We're not done yet, right? No, it's getting us right on track, but don't go anywhere. The list of must-have stocking stuffers continues with Mel right when we come back.